message, but a simple idea, a spark of thought. It's the seed to the imagination triggered by a picture, a sound, a feeling, or a smell activating automatic memories. It's the formless thing that gives things form. It's alive in the way thinking is not, but experience is, made of both memory and imagination. When I was little, I played a certain staring game that seemed to have invented itself. I would hold myself as still as I could and make my eyes like toys' eyes that don't move. And I would wait. I would wait for the other things in the room to forget I was there and begin to move. My mood seemed to have a lot to do with it. I'd have to make myself very calm and very friendly, the way I would when I wanted a shy animal to come to me. And I knew that I had to be patient and willing to wait for a very long time. We lived in a small apartment then, and any pictures we had were taped to the walls. Sometimes they fell. But this is not what I mean when I say they could move. I believed there was another world that would show itself to me in the smallest ways. The gray kitten in the picture next to my bed would accidentally blink his eyes. The girl in the picture would breathe. I believed there was another world, but I only noticed it when it became harder to get to. There had been a time when a toy elephant was as alive as a real rabbit in the grass. I didn't know there were different kinds of aliveness and two worlds contained by each other. Something can only become an illusion after disillusionment. Before that, it's something real.